Hello, Vintage Outboard Motor Fans. This is T Mike here in South Louisiana, and today I'm making a video on how to do a complete carb rebuild on a carburetor for a 1957 Johnson 7.5 horsepower. So, this video was requested from a subscriber of mine. Uh, I have carb rebuild videos, but I don't have this particular model, so that's why I'm making it farm and for you so this carburetor and the kit that it comes with uh, basically covers this carburetor is used for 1952 through 1967 three horsepower five and a half seven and a half ten eighteen same carburetor same kit so this this carburetor rebuild video will cover all those years in the Johnson and Nevin routes all right so I'm gonna show you how to take the carburetor apart. I'm gonna show you the carb kits that you need to get. I'm gonna give you two carb kits. And then I'm gonna show you how to clean it, how to rebuild all the replaceable parts inside of it, and then how to put it back together. So if everybody's ready, here we go. So I'm gonna give you two carb kits that I recommend that you buy. Uh, first one, is going to be the Sierra kit 18-7043. You can see you get it on eBay. I think it's $17.99. There's also another kit that I use that I like made by EMP, Engineering Marine Products. It's the 1300-01892. And you get it on eBay for $14.99. It's a good kit too. So between those two kits, you ought to be able to rebuild any of your carburetors all the way from 1952 to 67 three horsepower through 18 horsepowers. So if everybody's ready, now that we got the kit, today I'm gonna be using the EMP kit for my rebuild today. So here we go with the rebuild. All right, so we have the carb and we have the kit. And if you wanna make sure that you have the right uh, kit, I recommend using the Sierra catalog in the uh, carb kit section they list all the different years and horsepowers for the carb kits and you see how 187043 is circled so many times that's because it's a good kit for all these horsepowers all right so we have the carb taken off the motor with the two screws here it mounts on the motor right like this take those two nuts off right here disconnect the throttle the throttle lever from the magneto cam and pull them pull it off and then you have it in your hand right here and you're going to take it apart first thing we're going to do is remove the two needle valves the high speed needle valve and the low speed needle valve need to come off so a 7 16th wrench loosens the locking nut. And then you unscrew the high speed valve. And there it is. Now we're going to do the same thing with the low speed. Loosen the, loosen the locking nut. And the low speed valve comes right out. I don't, I don't put these in the cleaning solution and clean them. I bring them to my wire brush wheel and I wire brush it. I'll show you that after a while. Alright. Next thing we need to do I'll take a pick and I'll pull out the old packing nuts in both the low speed and high speed. There's the old packing nut. We're going to be replacing it. And they had none on the they had none on the on the other one. So now both both needle valves 
packing nuts have been removed. Okay, now we're gonna take and break the carburetor body in half with these one, two, three, four, five screws, all right? All right, the nuts have been, screws have been taken off and we separate the body. Now on the bottom half, I'm gonna take that rubber, rubber off of the fuel line off of it. Bottom half has got a a screw right there that needs to be taken off. That is a passageway for the cleaning solution to get in and clean this pathway right here. All right, so that's the bottom half. The top half has the gasket, which we're going to replace. I'll set that over here. Then the float has a pin that holds it in position right there. I'm going to take a pick tool and push that pin out. See that pin comes out? There's the pin. So the float now can come out. When it comes out, it's got the needle valve suspended by, by a wire. See it? You see this, this pin on the, on the float? That's always facing down. That pin needs to go back in facing down. Set that aside. Here's the needle valve with the pin, set that aside. All right, now we're gonna remove the the washer on the throat valve. Now we're gonna take a screwdriver, we're gonna remo remove the main throat. Okay, this is the piece that gets clogged the most because it's got holes in it. You can see the holes in it right there. Those holes get clogged, so we're gonna clean that with a solution and then blow some cleaner through it and some uh, welding tip picks, run it through there to clean this piece out real good. And then the main jet has gotta come out. And main jets got a hole right down the center. We gotta make sure that gets clean. All right, now, most importantly, there's a plug right here that's gotta be removed. And that, that allows passageways for the cleaner to get in there and clean that. So the way I remove it, I have two punches, all right? I take the first punch, I'm gonna tap on it and drive it through, make a hole. Take the second punch, drive it through and pry it out. The kit comes with another plug that we're gonna, after we clean it, we're gonna replug it. All right, so here's my first punch. All right, so now I got a, a little hammer. I'm gonna drive a hole through it. All right, so I pierced it. I pierced the plug, I'm gonna ream it out a little bit. Take my second, it's a little, little stronger. I'm gonna get it in there. I'm gonna pry that cap, pry that plug off. And there it comes off. 
So you see the holes inside here? That's for the cleaning purposes, for the cleaner to get in there for you to blow air. And this plug is replaceable. We're gonna put a new plug later in the video. I'm gonna put that aside. All right, so we have all of our pieces that need to be cleaned here. And we have our new kit. After it's clean, I'm gonna get out my chemical for the cleaning process now. All right, I got my my Berryman Chem Dip carburetor cleaner. That's some uh, really potent stuff, so you gotta have gloves on. What I do is I take the bottom half of the bowl I'll take all my parts that need to be cleaned, the jet, the throat, the screw that, and all the, all the nuts, drop all that in there, and put it in, there's a basket that comes out, put that part in there, and then I add the main body. Drop it all in. I'm gonna let it clean for, for 45 minutes, soak in there, and then I'm gonna show you how to blow it with air and the carburetor spray and finish the cleaning job on it. See you in 45 minutes. All right, it's been about an hour. Our carburetor's been soaking. So I mixed me a mixture of some water and dishwashing detergent. Made me a soap mixture right here. And I got my spray my carburetor cleaner spray ready and I got my welding tip to clean the orifices with sitting right here and I got my hose of compressed air to be able to blow the air. Right, so I'm gonna open the berry cam reach in there and get my parts. Here's the bottom. Bottom bowl that's got all those parts in it. I'm going to drop it in the soap to let it uh, get all that chemical off of it. And here's the main body. I'm gonna drop it in the soap. Let it soak in there. I'm gonna get rid of my chem, my chemical. Get move it out of the way. I'm gonna take my parts out of the soapy water. Okay, I got all my parts soaked up and laid out on the bench. I'm just gonna take each part and hit it with some uh, spray right up the throat of it. Run my cleaner, cleaning rod through it. I'm going to hit it with some air. Set it aside. I'll take the old nylon washer off. Make sure the opening is clean. With, and hit it with some air. Take the body, spray some cleaner through all the openings. Use my wire to go through everything, every opening that I can find, then hit it with some air. All right. 
right now the big the big body part every every opening gets a squirt and then gets cleaned with the pick and then gets hit with some air. All right, clean, clean. Okay, now that everything's, everything's been cleaned, and by the way, I took the uh, needle valves and I'm ran them through my on my wire brush and got it, got them all cleaned up. All right, now it's time to put it back together. All right, so now I'm gonna take my carb kit. And I'm gonna open it up. Spread out all the parts. Here's the new, the new needle valve main jet. Packing nuts, washer, gasket. All right. Let's start by putting the screw back in this drain. Here it is. All right, got that screw replaced. Now we take the main body, take the cleaned throat, screw it down into the throat. Take the new rubber washer, put it over the top. Okay, now we take the new main jet and it's got a nylon crush washer, goes around it, put it into the main jet. All right, now comes the tricky part. We're gonna put the float back on it, all right? So we take the new float, you remember the tip, this tip points down, always points down. And we're gonna take the new needle valve with the wire clip, the small end of the wire clip was around the needle valve. Okay, that's what it should look like. And then you just slip the float on it where it's hanging there. And then you set it inside. Needle valve. And then take the, the new pin, push it through. Okay, what you want is you want the float 
to be flush. You don't want it to be up. You don't want it to be too far down. So you look at it and raise it and lower it. And, if, and it is flush. And you want to make sure that it's picking up the needle valve in there. See the needle valve coming up, going up and down. A needle valve up and down with it. And it's level. It's level. So that's all good. I'll take our new gasket, set it over, put it in place. Take the bottom bowl. Set it on top. Put our five screws in. Okay, now we have to replace the plug. And we pulled out the plug. It goes, a new one goes right back in there. What I do is I tape, take a small ball peen and tap on it. You can even take a, take a small punch and give it a little tap. I'll make sure it stays in there. All right, so we replaced the plug. Now, we gotta put our needle valves in. So, both, we'll start with the high speed, all right? The packing nuts that are provided are cardboard. We're gonna put Two packing nuts and a nylon washer. And take a screwdriver and make sure they're all down in there. Take the holding nut. Get it started, take the low speed valve, put it in. Screw it all the way till it closes. And then take a 7 16th wrench, tighten that packing nut. And what I do is I take a pair of channel, small channel locks, vice grips, clamp it onto this and then turn it. See how easy it turns? You want it to be tighter than that. So I'm going to tighten the packing nut. Move it. Uh, it's got a gotten a little harder to move. Tighten it again. Uh, it's pretty tough to move. So I'm going to close it all the way. Okay, I'm going to take my magic marker with the needle valve all the way clockwise closed. And I'm gonna put a mark right on top dead center. A black mark, all right? And then I'm gonna back it out three quarters of a turn. Three quarters of a turn. Now you ready? It's ready to be dialed in when you put it in your, on your motor. So I would then take the, the top one, which is the high speed, two packing nuts, and a nylon washer. Do the same thing, I'm gonna put the locking nut and then the needle itself. All screwed all the way in until it stops to reach the bottom. I'm going to put my ice grips on it. Got 
Try to tighten them up. See how it turns easy? I'm gonna take my 7 16 and I'm gonna tighten on those locking nuts. Ah, oh, it's hard to turn. Hard to turn, so I'm gonna make sure it's all the way closed. I'm going to mark it, top dead center, I'm going to come out one and a half. So I'm right here, that's one and a half. Alright, now both your high speed and low speed needle valves are set, ready to be put in on the carburetor when you start it up, you can adjust them in until the high speed and the low speed runs good. Alright, hope you all enjoyed it. That's how you... Clean and rebuild a carburetor for 1952 through 1967. Johnson Evan Rude, 3, 5, 7, 10, 15, 18 horsepower. See you all next video. I hope you all enjoyed the video here at T Mike's Vintage Outboards. We're doing it one motor at a time. Please click on subscribe. I guarantee to provide weekly videos. Au revoir mes amis and laissez les bons temps rouler.